It's the last day of the ANC's NEC Le Kotla. Yesterday, Kosatu President Zinki Swalosi gave her input when she addressed NEC members. She joins us now to talk through the myriad of issues that she brought up with the NEC members. Sis Zinki Swa, thank you very much uh, for joining us this afternoon. Always a pleasure to be in conversation with you. Uh, so you say the Le Kotla has an opportunity to address and correct existential crises facing the nation and the state as well as the movement. What are these crises? Thank you very much, Dudu, and uh, good afternoon to the viewers of uh, uh, Newsroom Africa. Uh, the existential crisis that the country is faced with are the triple challenges that we all know about, which have now been unearthed by the, um, the COVID-19 pandemic. They have always been there the issues of uh, unemployment, which is now sitting at almost 46%, the high levels of inequality as a result, and, and, and the issues of, 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 of uh, race, class, and gender. So these are the issues that the Lihuta uh, of the ANC has an opportunity to really look into in so far as how far the ANC government has gone in implementing and addressing those issues and 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 what are the things that needs to be done differently in in, in ensuring that uh, we finally get the country where it should be. Mm. Uh, this is not the first, nor will it be a last Lekhotla, it's an ANC tradition that you rightfully mentioned that these issues have always been there, yet here we are in 2022 still talking about them at Lekhotla's. Um, are, are, are they rendered useless? Are they rendered just talk shops? Uh, is the, you know, yourselves as an alliance member, are you not worried? We are worried. We are worried and hence we raise the issue firmly in our input as a federation into the Lukhutla that we have had so many Mahotlas uh, just in the 2020-2021. But then we ask a question, where are those issues? Where are we with them? And, 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 and hence our emphasis to the Lukhutla is that unless the deployees of the ANC in government are preoccupied about the mandate that the ANC has and the contract that the ANC has with the people of South Africa, the working class in particular, the ANC would always go to these Mahotlas for the sake of going. And that is why we ask a question, are we meeting for the sake of meeting because it is tradition, or we are conscious of the fact that we have a country to run and we have a contract, a social contract that we have with the people of this country. Mm. Uh, another issue plaguing the ANC is the issue of uh, non-payment of some staff members. They've put this, you know, blame uh, partially um, on the uh, act of political party funding. Um, and they've also, you know, made it known they want to change certain elements of this act. Uh, Kosato's position on this matter? We are very clear on this one and we raised it in our input that we're very, very disappointed uh, with the ANC's non-payment of its staff. And we also re uh, reminded the African National Congress that it cannot at any stage put the blame squarely on the Party Funding Act, because it is the ANC that pushed for this Party Funding Act in Parliament, and, 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 and we think that it is a progressive act. And, but, but the ANC must address these issues, because these issues are not emanating from now since the, this act was enacted in parliament. They, um, it's, it's, these are three uh, issues that are, are coming uh, here in this year. So we are saying to the ANC, if the ANC in parliament must, must speak about and have a discussion in parliament about the increase in terms of the, the limit, then let that be a discussion. But the fundamentals of, and of, of why this a party funding act are in place must not be tempered with because it is important for transparency so that we know who are the people that are funding our political parties because and we, when we even make a, a point and we say unless if the ANC wants to change this it is because they feel that some of the people that are funding them could be having criminal elements uh, in the in their in their businesses and therefore it will be difficult to to really uh, put them uh, uh, in the public domain. Mm.
Um, another submission that you made to the Lekhotla is that the ANC has a proud history. It is the movement of Madiba, Tambohani, and Ruth First. Yet today we see factions running amok. We witness NEC members insulting each other on Twitter, and no action is taken. Kosatu's position on the matter between ANC President Silo Ramaphosa, um, as well as um, NEC member Lindy Wesisulu, or ANC, or South African President, rather, Silo Ramaphosa, and Cabinet member Lindy Wesisulu. What is Kosatu's position? Look, Kosatu, we, we don't want to be dragged into personalities. We must raise this to do. Remember, Kosatu, we did not issue a statement, and when all these issues were in the public domain. We felt it is necessary for us to raise it in the Lukuta because it is not about a, a minister Lindy school. She raised the issue, but it is not about her. It is this is a principal issue. We are raising it on a principle because and and we make a point in in our input that before we even speak about this issue of the constitution, we we raise the issue that we are seeing NEC members of the ANC dragging each other on Twitter. And, and then we go and deal with this issue that is in the public domain, but not necessarily wanting to address an individual, but wanting to address the tendencies that are in the movement. And, and this is not about Sislindi, because tomorrow another one is going to pen an article that would require us to be chasing shadows. And that's not what the Federation wants to do. We want the ANC to appreciate, and the deployees of the ANC to appreciate that when they are deployed in cabinet, in government and in cabinet, they take an oath in the constitution. And they saw by the constitution to protect that constitution and live by it. And unless comrades and leaders, when they raise issues which are correct issues for South Africa to, to debate upon, they must also be able to substantiate those issues so that we have a, 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 a debate that we can all be able to follow. So Kosadu does not want to be dragged into the, 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 the ANC uh, uh, road to conference. We don't want to be dragged and, and play in the mud. We, are raised, we raise this issue. That is why we don't put names, but because we're raising a principal matter. Because if we are going to start point, pinting, uh, pointing to certain individuals, then tomorrow it's going to be another one. And then it means we'll continue chasing, ch chasing shadows than dealing with issues, which are to us principal issues. If the ANC fundamentally is to live by its 54th National Conference resolution of rebuilding uh, and renewing the African National Congress, the ANC wants to, went to its NEC uh, 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 meeting. It came out firmly about the issue of a rebirth of the ANC. You can't then have an, an organization that the leaders that are expected to lead that organization, they would then uh, create a sense of a, 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 a bit of a confusion as to exactly what are the issues that are being debated at the highest uh, uh, political structure of the ANC? If people have different, and, and, and not that it's wrong to have different views, but uh, where you are located in terms of the, 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 the mandate that you are given, particularly if you are in government, we expect you to provide leadership. And if you think that the government of the ANC has failed to some extent, be able to take us through on what are those issues that we should be looking at as a, 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 a society. Because to do on this matter, <clears throat> you know, workers have gone to courts when workers, employers have, dis have dismissed workers unprocedurally uh, 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 to some extent and unfairly. We go to the CCMA. The CCMA at times rules in our favor and the employers will then uh, go and review the decision of the CCMA, the award. And then we must go to the labor court and judgment in the labor court when it is in favor of, of workers. We celebrate also that and we contest it if it is not and we believe that it is an unfair judgment. And therefore, we, 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 when, when, when judiciary 
is 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 being characterized the way it it it, it has been characterized, then it it makes us to wonder whether uh, uh, including some judgments that we have won are uh, are those of those judges as the way that they have been characterized. Uh, Sis Ningeswa, you are widely quoted in South African media as saying the failure of the ANC <clears throat> to discipline deployees is feeding a culture of mediocrity. What does this mean? Look, what we are raising there is that exactly why we're saying this issue, we're raising it as a principal matter, not uh, uh, wanting to, to be personal to anyone, because people then begin to believe that in the movement, that uh, they have a, a liberty to, to raise issues outside the movement and, and not allow the movement an opportunity to, to discuss certain issues that they deem are fundamental to the transformation of society. And, and, and if the ANC fails to put a, a, a clear a, a direction on how matters are handled internally in the organization and, and everyone else would, would do as they wish and, and there are no consequences and therefore it means to us that those that do so becomes emboldened into their positions and into their behavior and we end up not having an organization. Uh, we reward actually those individuals. If you could please indulge us um, and hang on the line for us. We continue our conversation uh, in a few moments. Let's just take you here. Hello again. We continue our conversation with Kosatu President Singi Swalosi as the ANC wraps up its NEC Lohotla today. Uh, Sis Singi, so thank you very much for staying on the line with us. Um, Kosatu also made another submission to the NEC Lohotla to show practical international solidarity with the likes of Cuba, Esadini, Venezuela, Western Sahara, Palestine, and Zimbabwe. Indeed, indeed. Uh, we think and we, we said that we don't think it is enough for us to sloganize this uh, a, a solidarity, international solidarity a, 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 a actions. Uh, we think that when the ANC um, takes a decision to support Cuba, it must be seen by what we do uh, to follow on that. And we think that investment uh, should be one of the key areas that uh, South African government should be considering. Uh, so trade with Cuba, trade with Venezuela, and, 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 and ensuring that uh, we call upon the government of the Swatini of Zimbabwe uh, to also respect um, the, 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 the human uh, 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 rights, the human rights in, in, in their countries. Also, when we deal with issues of Palestine, this is what we want to see, that uh, the, the conference resolutions of the ANC get to be implemented in government, because this is where the difference is going to be. As a movement, yes, the ANC can join COSATU to picket at the border post, and, and we all shout slogans. But critically and importantly, it is for the government led by the African National Congress, the South African government, to practicalize the resolutions of the ANC on international solidarity. Otherwise, the world will never take us seriously on these matters. We must be able to define who are our friends. But once we define them to do, we must be able to act in showing that solidarity. Mm. Uh, this week, we saw a number of reports alleging that some South Africans are uh, pushing out foreign nationals who are living in Soweto, for instance. Um, and I just wanted to ask maybe if uh, Kosatu has a position on this. And is this something that has bothered li the Lohotla meeting this weekend? Indeed, the, the Lohotla is, is seized with this matter. The commissions. Uh, are reporting now at the plenary as we speak, and and there is a commission that will be dealing with this matter also. Uh, Kosatu, indeed, you know, we work with uh, diasporas uh, uh, across the, the the African continent who are in South Africa, but at the same time as we do so, we are working with them in ensuring that those that are coming through to our country are. Uh, 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 are not people that are coming to South Africa to break the law, 
but also they come through the correct processes. They must be registered. They must be able to get their asylum papers when they qualify for them to receive. Secondly, the issue at times, it is not necessarily about the, the, the brothers and sisters who are coming from the African continent. Yes, indeed, if they're breaking the law, the law agencies in this country must act on those issues. But it is also with business in South Africa. Business deliberately in this country undermines the labor laws of South Africa. And they choose to pick on the vulnerable, those that they know that they do not have papers, those that they know that they left their countries because of being forced to migrate, not because they choose that South Africa probably is, is the best place to be, uh, but they are forced to migrate because of the political and economical instability in their countries. And when they come here to fend for their families, they become victims of the bosses because they will settle for anything for as long as they are able to send money home to Zimbabwe, to Lesotho, and, and, and across the Sadek region. But what we are calling upon is South Africans to identify the main enemy here, that the, the, the businesses in South Africa are deliberate in ensuring that they are going to pity one black African against another by ensuring that not for them to adhere to the labor laws that we have fought so hard for in this country, it is best to choose the one that is most vulnerable because that one will say half a loaf is better than no bread. Uh, Sis Zingiswa, in closing up the conversation, we've talked through a number of issues. Unemployment, procurement processes that are contained uh, within your submission to the NEC, non-payment of staff salaries, uh, discipline, existential crisis uh, of the ANC, the country, if you will. There's a widely held view in some sectors of the society that says a weakened ANC is a weakened COSATU as an alliance partner by default. Um, a poor showing ANC is a poor showing showing COSATU by default you are an alliance partner we only need to look to last year with the local government elections uh, as well uh, what is the relevance of COSATU as people ask themselves of the relevance of the African National Congress in modern day South Africa COSATU is not the African National Congress COSATU will always be relevant for as long as we have the labor market in this country we remain relevant. You know, I, I, I call upon South Africans to look into the work that we are doing at NETLEC. There are huge uh, gains that workers in this country have achieved just in the past two years, Dudu, since the, 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 the COVID came into our shores. We have spent sleepless nights at NETLEC working back and forth to ensure that workers are not left worse off as we deal with the pandemic. COSADU's relevance will always be there. But when people want to uh, put COSADU as the same as the ANC, and I think that is the problem and the mistake that we make as, as South Africans, we are independent of the African National Congress. We are not a league of the ANC. We are a trade union that derives its mandate from its uh, constituency. We go to our own Congress, we take decisions. We are guided by that. If really COSATU was as, as, as the ANC and there was no difference, we wouldn't be sitting here today discussing the input that COSATU made into the Lohutla. But we must also remember, we are not in government. COSATU does not contest state power. We are a trade union movement that represents its members, irrespective of a political affiliation that they belong to. We have identified where our struggle lies, but also in alliance with the ANC, we have been able to effect a, a progressive changes in labor laws because of our proximity to some extent to the ANC. We've been able to influence policy direction because of us being in alliance with the ANC. But COSATU has been able to also push for the rights of workers 
even in municipalities, as an example, where the ANC is not in power, in, in metros where the ANC is not in power, which proves that COSADU, it is not a, as others termed us at some point, that we are lap dogs of the ANC. It is the Federation COSADU that has put policy proposals at NETLEC in Parliament in defense of the labor laws, but also in defense of progressive uh, policies in this country that are going to address the triple challenges which are faced by the poorest of the poor, the working class. It is Kosatu that will apply to NETLEG, Dudu, to go on Section 77 and go on the street and demand uh, implementation of what the government is delaying on when it comes to worker issues. So we've always maintained our independence. That is why we're able to voice out the issues and point to those issues to the ANC, because we're not a, 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 a desk of the ANC, but we are a federation that is an alliance with the ANC and that is independent of the ANC. And this alliance did not come on the dawn of democracy. But how we're going to redefine it in the dawn of democracy, this is what we're calling for. But how we define that, it is about what we do. And this is what we have always been about as a federation. Zingi Swalosi is the president of COSATU. Ma'am, thank you very much for availing yourself this afternoon, talking us through uh, COSATU's positions and uh, inputs to the ANC Lohutla, which is wrapping up today. Ngosis.